Hello everyone, so today um, I thought I would make a video about owning tortoises on a budget um, and today I'm joined by Coconut, my little male tortoises and is really active right now and he's really cute. So I will be talking about food um, the substrate, the light fixtures, the light bulbs, the enclosure, the, um, the vet uh, trips and hides and how you can save some money on all of that. So with the food bowls you can get um, some terracotta uh, bases and I do this with my tortoises and they, it, they're really easy to clean, they're cheap and they are durable but besides that uh, I've never had a problem with them, they are very cheap and I think in my opinion they are kind of aesthetically pleasing and they are really easy to maintain. Now, in terms of substrate, I think that topsoil is the best in terms of budget because it's very cheap and it's uh, efficient, it does the job and you have to make sure it's a non-toxic type of topsoil and make sure that there are no fertilizers that come with it uh, and those you can always buy in bulk and they are very cheap as well. Then you have the light fixtures, so usually the light fixtures and domes are very expensive and you usually buy them in the pet stores, but if you go to any hardware store, they, they'll usually have just the ceramic uh, base of the, the fixture and you can kind of DIY it yourself and make a fixture yourself and sometimes you'll buy light bulbs that don't even really need the dome and the so those domes are kind of useless sometimes if you get like a spotlight lamp and at first when I first got my tortoises I DIY'd something like that and it worked fine so you can do that as well now, in terms of enclosure, you can always do a tortoise table and build it your own and this is always a great option because you can do it with your own measurements and you already know what your tortoise needs and I personally think that's the best um, way to go. Um, but sometimes it might not be budget friendly, but personally I think it's okay. Uh, my my tortoises are both in tortoise stables and I've made them myself. If you want um, to see that, I'll, I'll link some videos below on how I made their enclosures and I also upgraded some, uh, some parts of their enclosure. If you want to see that, tell me and I'll make a video about it. Tortoise stables are, are the best in my opinion. Um, you can always get uh, plastic tubs from the dollar store or the hardware store and these are also really cheap you have to be careful because the see-through ones might be a little tricky with tortoises because they don't really get that concept of transparency and uh, the glass that's also hard for them to understand so maybe you should get uh, for example those concrete mixing tubs that I've also seen online and those are also really cheap and you can probably order them online on Amazon I'll see if I can find a link and I'll also link it below um, and I think that's my opinion on saving money on the enclosure itself then with food you can always Depending on the species, I recommend, for example, a grassland species that needs to be fed hay that you should uh, buy in bulk. Buying in bulk always saves some money and, for example, if you go and get hay from a pet store, it's always going to get so much more expensive than if you go and get hay directly from a farmer or if you buy it in big uh, 
bales of hay in, in bulk, basically. So I would recommend that you do that if you have a grassland species. If you have smaller species like mine that eats uh, herbs and dandelions and stuff like that, the easiest way to save money is to literally go out and pick, pick them yourself. Go out and find a little corner with dandelions and pick them out. Of course, be careful and wash it before feeding it to your tortoises. Never feed it to them without making sure where they come from and that they're, they are safe and you've washed them so that you don't harm your tortoises. Next, I also uh, feed my tortoises vegetables and leafy greens mostly because I don't have access to a lot of dandelions since I live in a, an apartment and in the city. So I just uh, usually buy a lot of leafy greens and they do pretty well on it. So what I recommend if you are a person like me is just try and get them when they are on sale in the supermarket or just, I don't know, try to get some good deals on them. Sometimes they also sell them in bulk and it also comes cheaper. This is also applies for a more tropical species that eats a lot of fruit. There are a lot of great deals that uh, sometimes they do on fruits and vegetables, so you should definitely um, investigate that. Another thing is uh, food pellets. I think that's also a good investment. I know that they can be expensive, but if you find the right kind and you buy them in bulk, they are great, especially during the winter time. And you don't really have that much access to dandelions, for example. Um, if you find a good quality one and you buy in bulk, they can last you a long time and your tortoise will do well with them. Um, and that's my advice on food. Next, you can always have a hide. And for a hide, I recommend that if you do build a tortoise stable, you do a built-in hide or a house so that it's easier and they also have their little private space but if you don't then you can always use a pot and lay it on its side that also makes for a great hide i've, I've done that or half a log or a little um, stick bridge that i also used uh, those are all, all great options and uh, that's that's it for hides in my opinion um, and finally, when it comes to vet bills and to vet visits, um, I'm not saying you shouldn't go to the vet, you definitely should if there's something seriously wrong with your tortoise, but sometimes you just lack research and you just go to the vet without even really knowing what's going on with your tortoises and sometimes it's just something really simple that solves, solves it itself. So I recommend that you go on forums and research a little bit before making that decision and going to the vet because it could save you a little some bills and yeah definitely research but please if there's something wrong with it uh, that's like seriously ill do not hesitate to go to the vet please I don't want your tortoises dying because of something I said with what I mean with this is for example if they don't eat for a day and you're a little bit concerned maybe go search maybe they're I don't know search research it but if they are if they have mucus on their nose that's a little bit more serious it could be a respiratory infection you definitely should check that out with your vet that's what i mean when i say avoid um vet visits you should definitely not avoid it just be uh sure of what's happening before you go and panic because i've I've done that mistake and because I really like them and I'm constantly worried and I've done that mistake of going to the vet like what's wrong what's wrong and they're like that's completely normal nothing's wrong and you know I kind of make a fool of myself but I would definitely recommend that yeah that's I think that's my advice on uh, owning tortoises on a budget basically just do lots of research as well, that really helps. And also if this is something that still scares you a little bit with money, I mean maybe this isn't the pet for you because if 
for example, you do have to go to the vet, I'll tell you, it's so expensive. Because exotic vets are not cheap at all. So you have to be definitely ready for stuff like this. So if you're considering getting a tortoise or something like this, maybe this isn't the pet for you. Um, I've also done another video uh, called Before Getting a Tortoise, which basically talks about how expensive they are, and I will link that below as well so that you can uh, check that out too. But I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I really hope this was helpful and that I've uh, helped some people out and yeah, I don't know, leave a like and leave a comment below if you think I should add anything else or if I said something wrong, but be kind please because I'm just trying to help, I'm generally trying to help and not harm anyone, so that's pretty much it and yeah, I hope you have a good time and if you enjoy videos like this consider subscribing and you can even request another video um, down below and also I've recently got an affiliate um, link with a company called Soda Pup and they sell dog toys and they are really cute actually uh, I haven't had the chance to order them yet I'm thinking about it for a video but if you would like to uh, check out some dog toys, they have a really, really cute collection um, for Christmas coming up and Thanksgiving alre already. Um, and yeah, I'll also link that down below if you want to check it out. It's adorable and that would really help me too. So yeah, let me know what you think of this video and I'll see you next time.